We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Yankees. Milwaukee enter the day having lost their last 10 contests. We'll see if they can turn that around next. Babe Ruth gets the call for game one of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Third. The Into the box hitter. now, Lou Gehrig. Watch is fully in effect Gehrig. these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic go. triple crown. He leads all three categories. It's really hard to put together one of those monumental seasons. This guy's got a shot at the hey, triple crown, hitting well there. over 300 in his last 10 games. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. Boy, the last few weeks have not been kind to them, to say the least, as they're working on trying to end a double-digit losing streak. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to find any way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Yelich. And that baby's gone! Solo shot to right center, so he creeps ever closer to triple digits as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. In now, Lou Gehrig. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. That was a pretty good pitch, too, man. That last AB when he went deep, that was a fastball that was in and off the plate. So that tells me this guy likes the ball on that inner half of the plate or even inside off the plate. If I'm on the mound right now, I'm keeping the ball away from this guy. A oh, one pitch on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Wagner leads off second with nobody out. Fouled away. Here you go, let it fly. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. One ball. Two Looked strikes. like he just tried to do too much with that One fastball time, right, right there. Now. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. There's a swing, and he sends a ball here, high Get in the air into left field. Looking up is the left fielder. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh, my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, d you know they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you. In now is the Yankees' DH, Lou Gehrig. Two Whoa. on, two out for him here in the third. Gehrig. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. Right His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. A fastball here, too low. It's 1-0. and oh. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Here we go. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. The 2-1 home. 
out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Hey, get your kids up there. The 2-2. Two -two. I got three and two. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? He's set. Here's the three and two, and he fouls this one off. The next three, two. Lifted the other way go, to go, left go, center. Go, 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 Braun is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Yankees, eight, and the Brewers, nothing. Here we go now. Come on. Digging in once again, Lou Gehrig. It was Number a flyout for him in his last Lou. trip. Almost, Matty. Almost yeah, right. went deep his last A.B. Certainly just hey, missed it. Fly, With this guy's big right power, here. he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gehrig is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss oh. any of his at-bats. One ball, one strike to count. Two men are on with two men out. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Hey, get a good one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's slide, right there. Slide, slide, slide. Throw to first He's in out. time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Five innings complete. It's the Yankees nine, and the Brewers nothing. Right Ready once One again, Lou Gehrig. Oh, he homered back in the third inning in this one. Hitter. Lou Gehrig. Here's the first pitch to him. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hey, hands feel Give like he's being on, stung huh? by Go. wasps right now. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Nope. Ball one. Now a right good there, pitch around work. the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, if you would have told him when he woke up this morning that he was going to hit three home runs tonight, he would have thought he was dreaming. Well, it's a dream night, but he's wide awake. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. 11-4 at the end of this affair. New York, with their 97th win, tops in the division. Babe Ruth earns win number 15 on the year. Brandon Woodruff couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight.
First for the victorious Yankees, 11 runs, 15 hits, no errors. They left 17 men on base. For the Brewers, four runs on six hits, three errors. They left 13 men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours exactly. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Yankees. Milwaukee will try to avoid their 12th consecutive loss. First pitch is next. Lefty Grove is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here that today. The Stepping in, hitter. Lou Gehrig. Lou. Watch is fully in effect these days Gehrig. as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Winning the Triple Crown is really magical. Think about it. How many guys can hit for power, hit for average, nope. and okay. drive in runs? This guy's had a phenomenal season, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that he can win it. Dan Dero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, boy, the last few weeks have not been kind to them, to say the least, as they're working on trying to end a double-digit hey. losing streak. Yeah, Maddie. if they're going to find any way to dig themselves out of this current losing streak, then they're going to have to downshift a little bit. Do the little things right. Play fundamentally sound. Play good deep. High and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. Still ranging back. Adios. Pelota. Two-run shot to straightaway center. Something I thought we'd never see. 100 on the season. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. Well, d -Row, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the... To the plate now is the designated hitter, Lou Gehrig. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First delivery to him on the way. High and deep to straightaway right. Yelich going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Lou Gehrig will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Now the pitch. Bounced weakly near the plate. That rolls foul for strike one. A 
on. He takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. Fooled him just enough. At the plate, Lou Gehrig. He's for working on a one for three thus the far. The hitter, Lou Gehrig. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's Got one it. away. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. The New York Yankees win for a division-leading 98th time. Lefty Grove wins his 17th game of the season as he goes six-plus, allowing only a single base hit. Christy Mathewson records the save, his 37th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. For the Brewers, one run on two hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 35 minutes.